Good morning, Chicka Pies. Happy Thursday. So what's happening? I am headed to work. It looks like, from what I hear, that the traffic might get a little bit intense. So I just wanted to come on real quick and say good morning. I'm going to be traveling, I believe. I'm hoping I should be going to another office today. Uh, provided that my office is going to be covered, I might have a little bit of a dilemma, but we'll see. And if that's the case, then I will take you guys along. I may do um, a little bit more chatting today just because, I don't know, I'm stuck in that mood, I think. And, uh, yeah, so what do you guys think about these lips? Like, I am loving my lips right now. Um, it's a combination, and, of course, because I'm driving right now, it's a MAC lipstick and my TARDIS orange. So, like, it's that combination. It, the uh, matte, uh, MAC lipstick is supposed to be, like, a reddish orange. But, personally, I always see more red than I see orange, which generally is the case. Um, it looks pretty in the store, under the store lighting, but then when I got home, I felt like it just straight up looks red. So, um, I've been flirting with other lip liners and different things to try to give it more of an orangey red tint, a true orange red tint. And um, so, yeah, so I think I kind of may have mastered that today, at least until I get to work and look at it in a different light, I think I have anyway. So anyhow, I'm going to um, just go ahead and kind of cruise along. It's kind of foggy. Um, and I, I just think I'm probably just going to, for now, just kind of cruise along and just do my own meditating and get myself in the frame of mind for work today and then I will chat with you guys like once I get in my car and get past the downtown area and all that stuff headed out to the office that I need to go to today so I will chat with you guys later and have a wonderful time until then. Chicka pies. Hello chicka pies. So it is like 1.30 uh, in the afternoon and I am off to uh, my other location one of my other locations for my office and um, I decided to go ahead and start chatting with you guys now I'm kind of like on an open highway and it's not very very busy um, it's gonna narrow down here into like um, a two-lane highway here in a little bit where it will become even less busy and of course then you know when I get on my little country road it's really not busy at all on that road. It's not busy, but then it'll be like those big old work trucks every now and then, and they, they're just loud and they just kind of get in the way type of thing. But yeah, so what is going on, people? Like I have no idea what I was talking about this morning. I think I was talking about my lipstick because I was so excited about my lipstick. And um, I ended up mixing, mixing two colors together. And of course, I can't, uh, I can't share you those names because, you know, I when I drive, I have to pay attention <laughs> and I can't read without my glasses on. But it's the TARDIS and the um, a TARDIS uh, liquid paint and a MAC Stay lipstick. So I have these two colors um, on my lips together, and then I have um, as my lip liner, I have a Laura Mercier's lip liner and. Um, something poppy. What is it? Is it, um, get it out of here. Warm poppy, which is this lip liner right here. So this is my, my lip combo today. Like, and I absolutely love it. And I got several compliments on it at work. It's just, you know, years ago, I used to wear this Lancome Hint, uh, lipstick. It was one of their, it was, like a, it was, I want to say it was called Stay in Place, but I don't remember. It's been like this is like when I was married to my son's father. This is like when I was in my twenties. So this was a long time ago. But um, it was the prettiest orangey red ever, and it was like my staple lipstick. It was one of the first lipsticks that I ever wore that actually stayed in place, and it would go on so perfectly matte. It didn't dry your lips. I don't. Whatever formula that was, it was just perfect for my lips anyway. Like, it just worked perfectly. And I wore that lipstick to death. And then one day I went to go buy myself, a, uh, I don't know, probably like my fifth replacement too. And it was no longer available. I was.
was so upset. I was just like, what? And um, I've never yet been able to find that, like, that color. Like, Lancome doesn't sell it. And now I don't even have, like, I couldn't tell you what the color was now because for the longest time I kept one of the tubes because I, I would be like, you know, and this was before, like, I had, like, you know, all this internet stuff that we have now. But the problem is, is I have no idea, like, what it's called. So, um, I can't, I wouldn't even know where to begin to try to find it. But, uh, yeah, I love that lipstick. And so, when I mix these two together, it kind of gives me almost that look. And I get so excited because I'm like, I love it, love it, love it. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I decided to do on my lips today. And, um, you probably don't know because I didn't share this with you guys last night. I ended up stopping at TJ Maxx on my way in. Actually, I vlogged a couple times this week, but for some reason, I just, I would start and then I wouldn't finish. And so then it would be like, okay, is it worth it? I was going to put like the dates together and I still may look to see if I can. I don't know how much vlogging is actually there, but, um, but anyway, I stopped at, uh, TJ Maxx for Turn a Rug last night and ended up finding this outfit that I have on. Uh, this jacket is by Willie Smith, which is a line that I see at TJ Maxx quite often. Um, I don't know, I don't know a lot about the line. I, I've never like looked for it anywhere else. I just see it in TJ Maxx and um, a lot of their clothes are, are somewhat, uh, they're like, they're casual, but not, um, they, they range in that what you can dress them up or down and they're not, super casual well there are super casual things but and but i've never seen anything super dressy but most of their clothes kind of range where you can kind of uh, dress them up or down type of thing so i saw this jacket and it's kind of like an orangey red jacket and it's got the roll up blue sleeves i don't know if you can see that but i just absolutely the blue and white sleeves actually i just actually i actually i just love it so much i don't know where i was <laughs> What I was trying to say I just actually love it so much <laughs> I, maybe I'm tired I don't know but I do I love this jacket I love the color of this jacket because it reminds me of the color of that lipstick and so that kind of um, it kind of made me want to mix this lipstick together today because I know once before I think I mixed these two together and I got the color and I thought this is such a pretty color so anyway I just love my jacket and then I have on some striped white striped pants that uh, you yeah, can't see right now but uh, they are actually from uh, Cynthia Raleigh which is uh, another brand that I buy at TJ Maxx quite often and so yeah so I have on this cute little outfit and then my top is just a Massimo tank top but yeah I just absolutely love it love it love it it's it's a comfortable outfit I feel like I'm you know somewhat looking very professional yet yeah, I'm very me uh, so yeah and then my little pearl and blue, I, this is a necklace. I want to say I got it at Compost Trading Post, which is a jewelry store, like jewelry slash clothing slash a little bit of everything store here in SA. I think they have, I know they have an online version, so you can get them anywhere, so not just SA. But they used to have more like, um, more stuff like this than they do now. Like back in the day, they used to have, like now I think they have more clothes than they do jewelry, actually. But, um, this was one a piece that I got with the little matching earrings. They're not very big, which for me that's like unheard of, like for me to have on something so tiny. And then in my second ear, I went on and put my little um, these are like cubic cubic cubic, cubic zirconias um, that I got from TJ Maxx. They're sterling silver. I absolutely love these. These are just so precious to me. And I hadn't worn them in a long time. I actually, kind of like I have them set in a separate box because I don't want them to get lost because they're so small and I sometimes forget to even put them on so I threw them on this morning so that's kind of like my little outfit today I feel kind of spunky today it looks kind of cloudy out here like it's like the sun's shining but yet the clouds are like really dark in the distance so I don't know what's getting ready to happen we're probably going to have a massive rainstorm or something they were saying that we would only have like showers here and there but I don't know it looks like it could just cut up out here so we shall see but yeah so that is me today as uh, far as my foundation today I'm wearing Marc Jacobs and um, my eyes are I don't know how well you can see me I'm gonna set up I don't want to mess with the camera because it's too hard to do that try to zoom it in while I'm driving 
me. But yeah, so I um, told you what was on my lips. On my eyes, I'm wearing my Renaissance palette. And I think I have one color out of the Mario palette as well. So, and it's kind of like a red. I actually have almost like a red, white, and blue effect going on. Like, um, but more of an orangey red. Or, I don't know what color red. But it's not really red. But, you know, it's like kind of like one of those deep colors that kind of a sunset color or something but yeah so I kind of just do that together on my face today I kind of make my eyes look a little bit daring today but that's me in a nutshell my hair um let's just pray that it it stays it hangs in there because of course <laughs> it's a humid day so I'm like oh my gosh I hope it don't get too poofy because my hair can get something poofy I mean like really poofy so we'll see but so far so good I just kind of have it kind of like just kind of thrown back today so but that is me in a nutshell and um, as we go a little bit further down the road I'll probably come back on and talk again once we get once I get past all of the um, the little town that I go through and then once I get back on the other country road I'll probably come back on and just chat with you guys a little bit I'm trying to think of there's a few things that I would like to chat about so we'll see if, uh, how I'm feeling but there's a few big trucks on this road right now and I just kind of want to get off the phone off the phone off the, the camera just so that I can concentrate on these big trucks but yeah so you guys hang out until I come back all right sugar pies so I am at my stopping point where I set at this light forever and a day and I I went to Sonic um, on my way out I drove kind of like out of my way to Sonic this cup was full well I, I drove out of my way to Sonic because I wanted me a Coke Zero because I'm like for some reason I'm just stuck on Coke Zeros at Sonic the ice I don't know they're just good but I asked the girl this is so funny it's like one of those things where like after the fact I'm like she totally misunderstood me so sweet little girl I go there all the time at lunchtime I, I there's three ladies I have one of the three every I mean you know like there's three that I seem to rotate through but I like the mints from Sonic because they're, they're like the soft ones but not really soft and they're not hard like they're like that you know you can suck them for a second and then they just totally break apart but they're not mushy soft so I love the mints so I asked her if she could bring me a couple of a couple of the mints and she said a cup of ice and I said no mints so I think she thought I meant a cup of mints so she this little cup it I dropped because when I had a car pulled out in front of me so I had to kind of like slam on brakes and when I did the cup fell over so they're all under my seat but this thing it was full of mints like it <laughs> and I was like when she was like oh my and I was thinking, oh, how nice. And then, like, after the fact, I went, oh, my God. She thinks I said, bring me back a cup of mints. Because when she said a cup of ice, I said, no, mints. I'm like, really, sweetheart? But I'm thankful because I'm going to enjoy these mints for a long time. Because I love them. But I just think it's so funny, like, how she misunderstood what I was saying. So, but, yeah, so, anyway... I have to put some glasses on now the sun's decided to shine i can't figure out if i need to wear glasses or not because the sun shines in my face and then uh but then it'll get dark and then it's like kind of like such an overcast that i feel like things are looking too dark so but right now the sun is shining bright so what is going on almost to my other office I've, I've got the one other light that I need to stop at I've got my items in my back my purse not really my purse my bag that I need to um, put in the mail on Saturday so to all my winners uh, your prizes will go out to you on Saturday morning I'm gonna go by my post office and drop them off in the post office and um, so you should receive them one day next week. And, oh, did I show you guys my wallet? I don't think I did. Or did I? I don't know if I uploaded that video or not. But um, I did finally get my watch in from, from Coach. My watch, my wallet in from Coach. Y'all, oh, I'm all over the place today. But this is what it looks like. It is so cute. It has like a little zipper. And this part like opens up like really well. Like I'll I'll tell maybe do like a review or like a what's in my wallet video or something. Probably not what's in my wallet because it's 
just basically my debit cards and money but like maybe I'll just do like kind of like a little review telling you guys a little bit about the wallet it is black um, initially I had uh, got one and I thought I was getting a black one and I got a navy blue one I got home and realized that and so then they ordered me a black one from one of the other stores and I absolutely love it I got it for $69 and I think it's the greatest thing ever so if you want me to do a review on it thumbs up this video or leave a message below and I'll definitely do a review on it and I'm loving the little coin purse that I got uh, to go with it right in here I, right now I have like all of my like specialty cards I have my VIP right now I have the VIP Rouge uh, card because they didn't send me another um, when I went back because I no longer Rouge I'm just VIP they didn't send me a new card for VIP so I don't know but um, stuff like that is what's in here and I went back to carry my Rebecca Minkoff crossbody. Okay, that's all attached to my camera bag. I picked that up and everything went flying, y'all. Okay. So I'm back to carry my Rebecca Minkoff bag. I like this bag. It just, the only thing that bothers me about it is, is there's two things. It doesn't, the snap, or not, it's not really a snap, it's a button. But it seems to untwist itself and then it flies open and it seems to be off base as far as when you try to set it down it seems to fall over a lot and it shouldn't really do that because it's it's got two compartments and it's pretty squared on the bottom but for whatever reason i guess it's how my stuff shifts in it and sometimes it leans one way or the other so i become very annoyed with it every once in a while but i mean i do really love the bag i love that it has the handle on it so that i can reach over and grab my handle when I want to just carry it by my handle it makes it get in and out of the car really really easy because what I have come to conclusion of is crossbody bags are not like in and out of the car friendly like they're travel friendly but they're not uh, they're not easy when you're getting in and out of the car well at least not for me because I hate grabbing a purse like this and I feel like when I pull it off my shoulder I have nowhere to grab it and I guess it's because I've gotten so used to carrying handlebags, you know. I don't know. It's just kind of weird for me. But I'm back to carrying that. And I'm going to carry it for a while probably. Because, I don't know, I'm liking having like a smaller bag. And I still haven't gotten it completely, um, I guess, organized the way I want to. Because it's been like, kind of like a rough week. Like work has been just really, as always, I say the same thing all the time. I know I do. And you guys probably get so sick of me saying it. But I do have a very stressful job. And um, sometimes when I come home between trying to make sure I make my gym runs or my workout run or whatever, and you know, just trying to have a personal life, I find that I end up not doing some of the things that I really want to do. So I really need to organize. It's not really that it's unorganized. I just need to, whatever I switch purses, I have to make sure I have all the things that I need in one purse and you know, just remembering what compartments I like to put certain things in and I, I think a couple of my compartments I need to rotate some stuff so but I do love the bag I just wish it was a little bit more I guess stay friendly <laughs> I don't know what, what I would call that but what else I'm like looking around because I feel like I'm not saying something that I wanted to share with you guys and I don't know what it is oh guys you know what I did yesterday when I bought this outfit I ended up buying myself another bag of these things I have like one left I've been real good with not eating them all at one time but um i um i bought myself another bag so i, I spent another four dollars on the candy and i'm not really a candy person but if i find something that i like like that i will sometimes just splurge and i've been splurging so as far as my Thanks. room i'm kind of like at a um, I still need to work on that one shelf. I have not done anything to that top shelf. And I honestly don't know what to do with it. So I haven't done anything. It's kind of like something needs to come into my mind to tell me what I need to do with it. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll do that. But right now I'm like, I want to put pictures on it. But I don't know what picture frames I want. And then I think, well, I don't know if I want to put pictures on it. But it's it's so high up that really there, I can't put anything on it that I'm that I need. So it's either gonna be pictures or pictures and bases or just pictures, like you know what I mean, like or just faces or something. Because I can't put like an item. Hold on, my job is calling me. Hello. Hey. 
Oh, they opened it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so we're gonna make us the officer on there? Oh, okay. Well, just make Beverly the officer, I guess. And it won't be me anyway, because, but I mean, you can go ahead and change it, I guess. I knew she had talked about it because she was like, she tickles me, well, why aren't you handling that? And I was like, well, he didn't originate here. He just comes here since he moved to Bernie. Okay, I actually, I don't really have time to do this but I'm gonna walk, run in this family dollar real quick excuse me um, whenever I go to do this particular audit I this one isn't as time restrained as the other one so I've got like a couple minutes so I'm going to run into this family dollar which I don't know if you guys can see that it says family dollar but I am going to run in here and see what I can see Ooh, got me dark here Okay, I guess. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to run in here and see what I can see, guys. I'll be right back. All right, chicka pies. So I'm all done. And let's turn these windshield wipers off because they're going to squeak enough and get on my nerve. So I told you guys I stopped at Family Dollar. Okay, by the way, I don't know if you can see the rain on the window, but we had a massive rainstorm, thunder and lightning. It's still thunder and lightning, but the rain has checked up for right now. But so, yeah, depending on what the weather is like as to how much I'll be vlogging on my way home. But I stopped at the dollar store, Family Dollar. Y'all know, I, I, the girl has a problem. I'm just gonna admit it. I ended up picking me up, oh sh um, I picked up me some cocoa butter, some pure cocoa butter for, I hate that that fell, for um, my face. It has been clearing up though, guys, look at it. I've been using a steroid cream that I had for another thing that um, the doctor had given me, but I've been using it on my face and it's been working. So I'm so excited. But during the day, I'm gonna start, like right before I put my makeup on, is put a little bit of cocoa butter on my face as well. So yeah, but what I really wanted to show you guys, okay, I'm cold now, is, and I don't, I think I've seen these, but I, I'm not sure like what was said about them. And um, I know that the Family Dollar Store always has LA Gear products. And so I was like actually going to see if they had the ones that the, uh, what is it, um, Coffee Break with Danny did the other day, but they didn't have those. But they did have a couple of the liquid matte ones. Um, these were only $2. Like I was like, whoa. So yeah, so I grabbed, I should have probably got all three of the colors that they had. They only had three colors, but I only got um, these two colors, um, which I think they probably, I have colors of that she's already at home. But um, y'all know me, I have to, I have this thing and I'll never get these lids off of here because it's those, oh look, I pulled it completely off. Oh, that's such a pretty color. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to put it on my lips. Let me see. Yeah, it reminds me of a Sephora one that I have. Let me see if I can show it to y'all. Can y'all see that? So I'm going to wear that one maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure, but one day coming up here pretty soon. And then this one is kind of like a red, like a, like a brownish red color, which is probably gonna be too dark for the season that's coming up I'm pulling these off like the bad way but oh yeah that's super dark like whoa I just put like a whole lot of that on my lip on my lip on my hand that's like super dark but um so I probably won't wear that one like in the summer months but you know yeah just down now when it, I might need one and of course I might just you know and for two dollars I should have just gotten the other one what was I thinking what was I thinking but yeah, so those are the two that I picked up for $2 each. Like, I, I mean, I don't know how good they're going to be, but we'll find out. Like, I just wanted to, for that price, I just wanted to try them out and see. Um, see how well they stay on or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how well they stay on. I hope they stay on pretty good. But, um, yeah. So, anyhow, I picked up those. And then I just picked up some um, pork skin. Because I like these things every now and then. And what else? Oh, I got my grandson some 
suckers. So when he comes over, you can see those. I just picked him up some suckers. And now, as you guys can hear, the rain has come back. So, yeah. So we're coming to our little light. And the light is red. Oh, so my lipstick is kind of separating. The negative thing to this um, TARDIS one, this orange one, who oh, is still lightning, y'all. The orange one does not do well. Let me see if I can find the. I don't know where that lid fell. Oh, there it is. Okay, got the lid. I'm hating that it's not staying on. That's bothering me. And I don't know if I'm gonna like those liquid lipsticks or not. I don't know if they stay a long time, but they were like matte and I just wanted to see what they were like, so. But I um, put my car in park. But I got my favorite, you guys, I love these. And I'm only gonna eat a few of these probably on my ride home today just because I love Wise Potato Chips. These remind me of home. Um, growing up, we didn't have all the flavors that they have now, but we used to just have the barbecue ones and the plain ones. And then we would have the onion rings. And I used to eat these things all the time, guys. Like, all the time. So whenever I go to a place that have them, I always have to, like, like normally I would get a couple of bags, but I only got one bag today. I was like, nope, just one bag. Mmm. The honey mustard. They are to die for. It's not any, I mean, like, it's super quiet. Like, I almost feel, like, scared. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. These are so good. But yeah. Really, really. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do too much vlogging. When the light turns green, I may vlog down to the next light. And then kind of stop because the weather's kind of scaring me right now. It's like really quiet outside and it almost reminds me of when it's going to be a tornado or something because like the trees are moving but very little. But growing up I remember there was a tornado and certain times of it gets really creepy feeling outside. It reminds me of that and like for some reason right now sitting here I just feel like I'm like like there's a storm getting ready to happen. And it's making me very nervous because when I was a little girl, it was like a Saturday and that like about, I don't know, it was like Saturday afternoon, probably like, I don't know what time it was. I, I really don't remember, but I remember saying to my mom, I go, mom, do you look outside? Like it looks so still, like the world looks like it's like not moving. See, now I see trees and stuff moving. So I feel a little bit better. And my mom goes, yeah, baby, I see that. And then like about an hour later, a tornado touched down and like my grandmother was trapped in her house and because it was a cinder block, cinder block house is what saved her life because a tree there's this huge oak tree that we played under as a kid that tree uprooted and fell on my on the bedroom side of the house where my grandmother was in and they had to take her out through the window but they said had the house been like wooden that the tree would have caused the whole house to cave in and she probably wouldn't have made it so like and like i have my relatives they live in trailer homes oh like on my grandmother's property my grandparents property and um they one of them lost their trailer completely um just a lot of damage to like get our house was no damage but like my family got a lot of damage and so um we had like the thunder and lightning and stuff and i just i don't know like it just it was a very scary day the sky like it literally went to like nighttime in the middle of the afternoon like it looked like like well not in the middle of the afternoon it was probably like maybe three or four o'clock but it looked like it was like pitch black outside and it was so freaking scary so like right now when i saw that nothing was moving like now i'm seeing the trees and they're moving like at a good pace but like it reminded me and i was like oh no i need to get out of here so i still want to get home i don't want to be out here in this mess so that is the happening for me right now and I, oh there's a lot of cars coming so anyway 
but that is you know it's just kind of funny how that is when I this guy just looks very busy right now so I don't know I don't want to be on I don't want to be out here I want to go home <laughs> And I have a long drive because I, I mean, like, I'm barely leaving, so. And the traffic will be probably horrendous because I'm sure there'll be accidents. So. Mmm. I love these things, y'all. Love them, love them. Okay, I'm gonna guess that the light's gonna turn green any minute now. So. Got my car in park, I mean in drive, ready to go. But I was telling you guys about the TARDIS lip paint. The orange color. And I ordered this one online because you couldn't buy it in the store. And I love the color of the orange. But the lipstick is very, very pasty. And it tends to crack like like you'll lose it like from here like on the inside of your lips like it gets real cracky looking so I, you know I feel like my lipstick looks very patchy but I freaking love that color so I've been trying to make it work but I would never buy it again but I am still looking for the perfect liquid liquid lipstick in the um, The matte liquid lipstick. The matte liquid lipstick in a um same same formula. What am I trying to say? I can't think of what I'm trying to say right now. But so hopefully I'm gonna find one this season because I really love the color orange as a lipstick. Yeah, I'm loving my orange nail polish. And this is the whim, by the way. And I'm very impressed with the same power. One of my videos did not upload properly. And I had deleted it because I thought it had uploaded. I can talk right now because I'm going down a little small little road and there's no cars. I'm not dealing with traffic. But it starts to rain really, really hard. So, like I said, after I get past this take flight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bid you guys a farewell. Um, the orange. The polish goes on really thick. And I had been streaky on the first application but then after that it like gets it better it's like an application and I ended up putting three coats on and I really like the three coats because it looks really pretty but of course I have on my um SD gel and I have on the Sasha PS my coat y'all it is crazy right now here I remember 
were looking down thinking, wow, 81, that's like pretty warm. Although I'd soak red, but it won't be red for long, so. I don't know. I may come back on and vlog before the night's out, so say goodnight to you guys. Yeah, I won't say goodnight to y'all just yet. Because who knows? Okay, I just spit some chips out of my mouth. That was so gross. I'm so sorry. But I do like this nail polish. Like I said, I do have several different colors. Like I have a Sasha V in the same color. So I may wear that in the next couple weeks just to see. I want to see like what the difference is. Alrighty, this light just turned green. Although, for some reason today I want some Mexican food. But, I mean, I'm not going to go get any, but... Mexican food. And for a while I was completely burnt out on Mexican food because I felt like, oh my god, that's so warm. I'm sorry, it's probably like getting on y'all's nerve. I didn't even realize it. But, but why? Because I was eating so much Mexican food, I was like, I don't want Mexican food ever again. Like, and now I'm like craving it. It's been a, it's been a while since I've gone to a Mexican restaurant and had like like enchiladas. And I, I love enchiladas, but for a while there I was just eating them too much. But you guys, my outfit. So maybe when I get home, you guys know I'll be saying that. Then I get home to somebody, I have my clothes completely off before I realize that. I'll be like, I was supposed to do an outfit of the day. But when I get home in the evening, the first thing I want to do is undress. A lot of times it's because I'm going to the gym or something and I'm trying to get there before it gets late so I just kind of get like in a hurry but today I'm going to make a point we have to hear the rain coming back I'm gonna go ahead and get off and I will chat with you guys at some other point throughout this drive home or perhaps not until I do a little outfit of the day okay I thought I would turn on my camera and kind of show you guys I don't know how well you can see like the sky is getting dark so when i was driving oh when i was first leaving the other office um it after i had got off it rained so hard for like most of my way i'm like almost i'm getting closer to my side of town now but um and i can tell like the storm is now getting to me here but like it rained so hard at some points i could not like see the front of my car and so it's been a long, long drive. I started driving at four and it's now six. So um, yeah, like it's crazy. And I'm like, like as they say, I'm like these close to home, kind of, sort of, and like I, the rain is getting ready to come. So like, I'm sure I'm going to probably be another 30 minutes before I can get home. So it's just kind of cray cray the way the weather is today. But yeah, so I just wanted to like turn the camera on so you guys could see like what I'm going through. It's I should have turned it on earlier, but I think my mind was just thinking like, you know, I told you guys before, like it seemed like there was like a bad storm brewing. And I think more than anything, um, I was just like thinking like I'm so far away from home and I don't want to get stranded. And the roads were like running over with water. And I was just like, oh my God, please just let me get to my side of town. So yeah, so anyway, um, and I just, you know, like I'm getting closer, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but then I'm seeing like all this weather coming and I'm like, I just wanna go home. And I'm supposed to go to my yoga class today, but honestly, I, um, it is the, the time of the month, if you don't mind me giving you TMI, but you guys know I keep it real. And the cramps are really starting to kick in. And so I, I just, I think, with all the stress of driving home and this weather, I just really want to go home. I want to take a hot shower, get out my heating pad, and I think I just want to go to bed. Like, I seriously do. But yeah, so this is what's happening out here. Like, you can totally see that the weather is about to get ugly. Like, I don't know how well you can see my sky, but it is so scary looking right now. But yeah, so anyhow, that is that. I'll see you guys in a few. I'm getting out now. It's like, and this is basically what I drove in for like probably like over an hour um, on my drive home. So I gotta get off now because I'm getting closer to my subdivision that I don't want to do. 
Okay, this is probably not the best spot to do this outfit of the day, but I don't feel like pulling out my tripod and all that stuff because I literally just got home and yeah, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. The weather was ugly as you guys saw and you only saw like a small portion of it. So anyway, this is my Willie Smith jacket and then this is just a Mossimo tank top that I have underneath it from Target. And the pants are Cynthia Raleigh. My um, Franco Sardo, uh, see if I can't zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm going out. Hello, you guys, forgive me. These are kind of like a bone color. I really love these shoes. I've worn them enough to where they're super comfortable. Zoom, zoom, focus, not zoom, focus. But yeah, so this is my outfit of the day today. And and I have a blue one, a navy blue one that is exactly like it. And just super comfortable, just fits me perfect. And the pants, I don't know, I just like this whole outfit. I just feel like it's, it's sporty and casual and dressy all at the same time. And as you can see, the pants are a pinstripe. Um, well, not a pinstripe, but they're like a striped pant. And they do have rum. But yeah, so I'm going to ask that you don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And once you hit the subscribe button, make sure you reach over to that little notification bell. Hit that as well so you will be a subscribe to Kapai. And um, don't forget to leave a comment below telling me something great today, saying something positive, being happy. That's what my channel is all about. And thumbs up this video if you want to see them continue to come. Because the only way I'll know that you like them is by you thumbsing up my video. So again, I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Hugs and kisses.